It is time. It is time. The Cleveland Cavaliers should trade Kevin Love. They should trade him. Fuck. What's up, y'all? This is really all back with another video. Yes, son, today we have to talk about if we could truly trade Kevin Love. But before we get into the topic at hand, I need y'all to smash that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed to my channel, share it to somebody who ain't subscribed because we are on the grind to a thousand subscribers. And with y'all, I know I can get there. But with all that being said, we have to talk about Kevin Love being traded. And before I start telling y'all my trade ideas, Cleveland fans and anybody who's basketball fans, NBA fans, you got to understand it's hard to trade a player like Kevin Love. The reason being because of his age and that contract, right? And he's making a lot of money, right? And he's making a lot of money, which is going to make it very, very hard for it to be a one-for-one -one trade or a one-on-one -on -one team trade, right? Which means minimally, you're probably going to have to get three teams involved in order to make the money right, right? To make it work truly, which means for that third team, they might not be getting a lot, but they might be getting a bad contract and some picks in order for them to say, hey, this is why you need to jump on board, right? And I'm saying that because a lot of my trades are three team trades, but they do not tell you about who gets picks. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of people down in the comments might have questions and say, hey, uh, that's all they getting. But realistically, you know, these are the assets that's really missing that I haven't attributed to these any of these trades. The first trade would have the Cleveland Cavaliers receiving Miles Turner, the Indiana Pacers receiving Kevin Love, and the New York Knicks receiving Jeremy Lamb. And I feel like this is a logical trade in my opinion because I feel like for starters, Miles Turner is in trade talks, right? I feel like he's been in trade talks for some time, and I think this season or this offseason will be the time where he actually get moved upon. And I just feel like his time alongside Sabonis is a is a ticking time bomb because y'all see Sabonis. Sabonis is hooping, and I feel like Miles Turner just need the right team for him to be very, very effective. And I feel like the Cleveland Cavaliers is where he could be very, very effective, especially when you got JB Bickerstaff trying to implement a defensive system where Miles Turner is very, very good at, right? And he can get some offense in because, I mean, JB Bickerstaff is trying to see who wants it more. And if Miles Turner plays like he's supposed to be playing, that's the right situation for him, right? Now, for the Indiana Pacers to receive Kevin Love, I feel like that makes sense for them because they get another vet, right? And they get a player who I feel like really works well with Sabonis, who can shoot the ball, right? He can shoot the ball effectively, right? And I feel like that really works for the Indiana Pacers when you have TJ Warren coming back, then you got Victor Oladipo, Sabonis, and Kevin Love on your roster, and Malcolm Brogdon, who I feel like is very underrated for what he does. And that team is really, really good, right? Like, once you hear those names out loud, that is a really good team in the East. And I feel like they can really do some damage. Now, y'all say, why did the Knicks get in there? This is what I meant by you need a third team. The Knicks would have to take some salary, right, for the Pacers to actually take Kevin Love. Because for them to take Kevin Love, they have to still give up at least eight to $10 million to make that acceptable, right? And them giving up Jeremy Lamb to the Knicks, that gives the Knicks another asset who can play the small four, who gives, you know, another piece. But also, they can dump some salary real quick in order to take in a Kevin Love, which I feel like really makes sense for these three teams because they all get an asset that they can really use moving forward. In conclusion, it's about that time to really start shopping Kevin Love, right? But at the same time, Cleveland fans or anybody else who's wondering how these Cleveland Cavaliers is going to handle the Kevin Love trade negotiations, just understand that this is going to be a tough thing to do, right? Because like I said before, Kevin Love age and his contract makes it very, very, very hard to get a very effective trade when you have to get a third team involved. And because of that, that means you have to get a situation where you get give that third team the right amount of pieces in order to take a bad contract or take some of that salary in order to make it work for the other two teams. The best player on your team. Is that the name, name we talking? You could hit the ball. But I was fourth, fifth hitter. You know what that means. Clean up. Yeah. Scrape clean up on aisle three. Come, come get it. Sounds like you're just an athlete. Yeah. Any okay, ping pong, baseball, football, basketball, tennis, swimming. 
lacrosse, whatever you need me to play, I'm going to go do it. If it's some money on the line, I'm going to go do it. Can you golf? Whatever you need me to do. Okay. Hockey. Whatever. On the, on the rink, whatever you need me to do. It don't matter. Got it. Trash can ball. We can do whatever you want. Trash can Cook ball. food. You go pro. Cook food. It, that's something to do. I'm, I bet I'll be A1 from day one. And for more amazing content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the grind. And with that being said, go. Hey, hey. Motivated all about cash flow. Ran it up and ran out of the skills. In the field and we turn into hoops. For the clip like mines we show. Just like some soldiers we choke. Step back three, we hoping. We on house just like Fortnite.